friends, I am trying something new and I'm going to start doing some video blogging, mostly because I'm a huge talker and it's just easier for me to get out this way. And because the topic that I have for today is I'm just so excited about it that I couldn't type it, I just had to tell you. I do Bible study online through Proverbs 31 and the current Bible study that we're doing is Made to Crave. And I'm only into chapter 2 and I already love it and I love the idea of online Bible study because even though I live a thousand miles from my home church back in Texas, up in snowy New England, you know, I don't have to be close to them because I can still have community with other ladies and do Bible study online and it is so much fun and the ladies are awesome and I love it. But now I'm getting off topic and so what I really wanted to tell you about was what happened last night during Bible study. We do Twitter parties on Tuesdays and I didn't even know you could party on Twitter but apparently you can and it's fast paced and it's crazy and it's fun and it was just a great time and something amazing happened and we got the hashtag Crave God trend worldwide. It was the number one trend in the world it was the number two trending hashtag in the United States. It was awesome. We made a goal and we accomplished it. And it was so amazing to see people who weren't even part of our Twitter party chiming in using the hashtag Crave God. And they were posting some of the most beautiful things. And people were just posting in shock the fact that the name of God was actually trending worldwide on Twitter. I mean, it was right there next to, like, Miley Cyrus, I think. What are the odds of that? And then we also had some haters. You know, we had some people who weren't too fond of what we were doing, but, you know, that's okay, because all they did was hashtag made, uh, hashtag Crave God in their posts, and they just made it trend for even longer. So, really, they were just hurting themselves if they didn't want to see it, because they were just helping us out. Now, the Made Crave study started this week, and it's not too late to start if you're interested. You can ask me about it. Let me know if you have any questions. It's a really, really good thing to do online if you can't find a Bible study that you're really into, if you're far away from your home church like I am, whatever the need may be for you. All you need is a Made to Crave book and a computer and a journal and a Bible, and you can participate too, and it is so much fun. And I feel so fulfilled, and I love every minute of it. And we'll be having another Twitter party next Tuesday. And I don't know what the hashtag is going to be, but I think it will be awesome to see if we can get the name of God trending on Twitter again next Tuesday. So if you have any questions about Bible study or Twitter parties or anything else, you know, that you need to know, just let me know, leave a comment, ask me, send me a private message, whatever, and I'm so excited to be coming to you via video blog, and I hope that maybe this is something I can continue to do in the future, because it's just fun to get to talk to you, and interact with you, and I guess that's all I've got for now, I'm pretty sure I need cue cards for the next one, but y'all have a blessed week, and I'll see you again soon, okay bye!